Fourth example of shear force and bending moment diagram. Right now we are required to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of the cantilevered beam which is subjected to uniformly distributed load and a point load of 15 kN. There will only one section equation needed for shear force and a one section equation needed for bending moment. We have found the reactions already as we discussed in the previous examples. So the section we cut will have a free body diagram like we always assume these that signs 400 km meter let's say this distance is x so for shear equation, shear equation will be formed as sum of F by is equals to 0 minus V minus 5, 5 into X. 5X is the force due to uniformly distributed load which we already discussed that the force for uniformly distributed load and uh, variable distributed load will be always area of this. Then there comes the force of 65 kN is equals to 0. V is equals to 65 minus 5x. Let's say this the equation of shear. Now for the equation of moment, we need to sum the moment at this point. That would be always assume anti-clockwise direction positive. This is in positive rotation so it's positive 5 kilo newton force that is 5x have a lever arm of x by 2 into x over 2 it is both are rotating in anti-clockwise so they are positive while 65 kilo newton is negative so it would be like 65 and the lever arm for 65 kilo newton force would be x from here to here so while the 400 kilonewton moment kilonewton dot meter moment is rotating in again in the clockwise direction so it would be positive 400 is equals to 0 so the equation for moment becomes as m is equals to 65 x minus 5 x square over 2 minus 400 Now for shear force and bending moment diagrams, we plug in the values in these equations. At x is equals to 0, shear force diagram. We had these equations, v is equals to 65 minus 5x. At x is equals to 0, we get shear value as 65 kilonewton and x is equals to 10 meters we get shear value as 15 kilonewton all right using this equation while for bending moment we use the equation m is equal to 65x minus 5x square over 2 minus 400 at x is equal to 0 we get moment value as minus 400 and x is equal to 10 we get moment value as 0 so shear force diagram would be like 0 and 10 meter so at this point the shear force is plus 65 and at this point it is plus 15 that's a 1 degree curve and bending moment diagram it would be a second degree now. 0 and 10 meter at x is equal to Zero moment was minus four hundred kilonewton dot meter, and 
x is equals to 10 moment is equals to 0 so we join this point as why we draw it like this the reason behind it is as shear force is decreasing so the slope of this curve is also decreasing as we know that slope decreasing is shown by the line becoming more parallel to the x-axis thanks for watching